I'm vlogging today about what is in my cupboards because I have a lot of things in my cupboards. I mean, food is my first passion, so I end up shopping mainly on food, actually. And so I thought I'd take you through my cupboard, show you what I've got in there, my essentials, some unusual things. Right, let's start here with all my supplements. It literally looks like I've got a chemist in here. Um, but I've got things like B vitamin, I really like this one. Um, by Pure Synergy, got fish oils, this is really yummy, some like matcha. I'd love to say I take them every single day, I try to, but as you can see I've got quite a few going on. Okay, let's get to a bit more exciting, let's go up to baking. So I've got all different types of flour, I've got chickpea flour, some gluten free flour, I've got coconut flour in the back, also um, I've got some spelt flour as well which is really nice. And then all different types of little flowers, like some buckwheat flour, xanthan gum, really good for binding, baking soda, baking powder, and as you can see, I'm a bit obsessed with doves. Um, they just do really good gluten-free flowers. Um, this cupboard's a bit miscellaneous, <laughs> but I'll show you this really cool. This is like seaweed pasta, which is really yummy and really good for you. Okay, calm down, this is the grains. So we've got quinoa, we've got wild rice, we've got some quinoa flakes and then this comes to the sweet section. So this is really yummy beloved date nectar. Got some chopped dates, some coconut sugar in the back which if you've never tried before is like a really yummy caramelly like sweet taste. And then I've got, <laughs> I tried to get organized guys and label stuff so snacks. There's only a few snacks here but this, um, Zoic which is an insect bar. I'm not kidding. It is made of insect flour. Not really sure, but it is actually tastes really yummy. And apparently the future. Ombar, always have ombar around, so delicious. And then just some sort of nuts and seeds, which are yummy too. Moving on up, we've got some seeds now. So we've got flax seeds here, which are really great for adding into like porridge. Um, they also are really good um, at binding things, so if you don't eat eggs, you can use them as a replacement. We've got sesame seeds, I've got some desiccated coconut here, some chia seeds, which I love making chia puddings. And then we've got some Harry, who's an amazing chef. We've got her dal, which is so good. You just literally throw it in a bag. Um, sorry, don't throw it in a bag, throw it in a pot um, with lots of like water and it's already got spices in there and you can add other things in. So, so easy and simple. Okay, so we've got chickpeas, we've got mung beans and um, this funny looking thing is stevia powder and I'm not kidding. I've had this, it must be three years and I'm just not getting through it because it's so sweet you only need such a little bit. And then up here we've got some chocolatey things, some cacao nibs, cacao powder and some wild mushrooms, which I haven't really used. I've got to get into it, I've got to make a mushroom risotto, I think. Right, so that's just two, two cupboards. We're gonna move on, don't worry, there's, there's quite a lot more to get through. <laughs> so this is where I keep all my superfood powders um, for smoothie making. So I've got some matcha, um, I've got baobab, moringa, cacao, maca, basically, Whatever superfood out there is, I've got it. Um, also put in my smoothies. This is kind of where I make my smoothies. If you ever watch me make smoothies in the morning on my Snapchat, um, you will probably see this cupboard quite often. So yeah, if you're not following me on Snapchat, it's just Madeline underscore Shaw, um, and you can see what I'm eating all the time. So you can follow me every day. <laughs> we've got some seeds, which is like hemp seeds and flax seeds that I just chuck in smoothies. Um, this is such a good protein powder, El McPherson and Nourishing Protein. Um, we've got whey, which I use not so much, more Kieran uses that, honey to sweeten. Um, and then we've got some shelled hemp seeds that are really protein packed that I love adding to smoothies. Cacao butter for making chocolate. And then up here is the tea cupboard. So puka, love a bit of puka tea, lots of different types of herbal teas. Ooh, and then some rude health puffed oats. But these are sort of what goes down in my cupboards. So I've got one more kind of big cupboard to show you, but I'm kind of embarrassed because it's really quite messy. And I was gonna tidy it up, but then I thought, you know what? 
this is vlogging, this is real, this is me. So if you're kind of like OCD about everything, you might freak out by this cupboard. So as you can see, I've got a lot of spices going on, but they're not very organized. I bought these racks to get organized, and then I just bought more and more spices. Um, so we've got literally everything from cumin, coriander, fennel, to smoked paprika, to vanilla essence, and then up here's oil. So we've got olive oil, um, I've got lots of coconut oil, Loving Earth, Tiana, and Biona are kind of the ones, chopped tomatoes. This is really cool actually, coconut amino, so it's like soy sauce but made from coconuts. But this is kind of where I keep like my oils, my spices, um, and yeah. As you can see, it needs a little bit of love. So those are my cupboards. I hope you enjoyed them. Love you lots. I hope you have a really, really wonderful day, whatever you're doing. And make sure you subscribe, give me a good thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.